Hey guys, welcome to the daily trend where I'm going to review the top trending token on CoinMarketCap every single day until I get a million followers or someone pays me a million bucks to shut up. So let's get started. What's number one? Today is Hamster. Hamster, most likely a meme coin, is currently up almost 9% on the day. And I will say this chart does not look right at all if you ask me, it just looks terrible. So I went ahead and pulled this up on PooCoins app and I got a nice pretty chart. Clearly a bullish chart sitting in a nice little no man's land, ready to break out in either direction right now. So let's look at what hamster coin is. Hamster coin, meme coin with a hamster, okay? Uh, now this sentence here, I had to read a few times to try and figure out what the heck this means. I don't think this is correct English grammatically, if someone can correct me on that um, or translate that to English, because I had to just copy and paste this into Google to figure out what the heck they were talking about. And from what I gather, uh, they are trying to get Jack, the CEO of Twitter, on board with this token, kind of like Elon was with Doge. And they're also tweeting to Elon and anyone else that could possibly give this some more exposure. And so they're dedicating the burns to Jack, essentially, from what I can tell. It's that whenever the, the token is burned, it's just in his name. It's not like he gets them. So if, you, if we look at the holders of Hamster, we'll see... The burn address is the biggest holder, and the second biggest holder is a contract address, um, hopefully locked um, liquidity of some sort. Uh, but so here we have, uh, you know, that that's that was the basics of it. Where can you find it? You can see it here. They didn't add Poo app for some weird, weird reason. Why are you choosing the hamster coin? It's just a meme coin, guys. There's nothing crazy about it, at least not what I can tell. Um, now the tokenomics are kind of interesting. It has a 4% Bitcoin reflection. Um, now I have another token that does Bitcoin reflection and it's kind of cool. You just have to put the Binance pegged Bitcoin in your wallet in order to see that reflection. It's not going to reflect back in native Bitcoin. You just you can't do that. Um, so 4% goes, comes to Bitcoin, 4% goes to liquidity pool, uh, and 4% essentially goes back to developers and marketing. And you got to hold at least 75 billion hamsters in order to get this uh, 4% Bitcoin reflection. Um, I like Bitcoin reflection. It's it's a cool concept because who doesn't like Bitcoin and you just earn free Bitcoin. Every time someone makes a transfer, you're earning some Bitcoin. Um, how much you get? I don't know. I mean, 4% is a good amount. And if there's a lot of volume going on, um, then you could you know perhaps get upwards of 1% a day, if, any, if it's anything like the volume of any of those other major reflection tokens, um, some of them get around 1% a day. Uh, here we go with that other run on uh, non grammatical sentence. 50% um, of supply from pancake swap sales has no main owner, so it's like locked. Uh, da, 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 da. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. It's, it's got a couple exchanges, you know, for the number of exchanges it has and the market cap. So PooCoin puts the market cap at 250 million. So this is including the locked uh, and excluding the burns. And then coin market cap puts the market cap at 100 million. Not quite adding up, you know, so we have a fully diluted market cap of 415. I, I don't know which one's correct, honestly, without going in deeper and spending a lot more time figuring that out. You know, I, I'm, I'd am i almost say this is more more realistic um, just because uh, there's more data going on in, in PooCoin than there is in, um, in CoinMarketCap, from what I can tell. I always liked PooCoin. Um, so, yeah, what do you guys think of this hamster token? You want You want in? I mean... Looking at this chart, you know, normally when I do these, I don't really get interested in them. Um, I'm kind of interested in this token. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to watch it. It looks like it's possibly on a little bit of a, a downturn right now. Um, you've got a little bit of a trend up here. so, it, But yeah, the support lines, they had a big jump. And then, so it's kind of... You know, when you have a big jump, sometimes you get a pullback like you got here, and then eventually it'll stabilize. Where will it stabilize? I don't know. Uh, but I might watch it just for fun and see what I, what I get out of it. 
Let me know what you think of this hamster coin and if there's anything I should take a look at.